Boy, have we got an exciting announcement for you guys. It's been an exciting day all around. Uh, uh, you know, Joe Manchin, um, yeah, a bit of a blue dog Democrat. <laughs> Not so much of a Democrat, period. Conservative Democrat has voted with the Republicans over and over again, voted for most of Trump's cabinet nominees, including Scott Pruitt to destroy the EPA, Ben Carson, the list goes on and on. I'll share that list with you in a second. Uh, but uh, that's okay, that's okay. You know why? Because <laughs> his time in the Senate is about to run out. Damn. Damn. Uh, we've got a Just Democrat candidate that we want to tell you about. Her name is Paula Jean Swergen. And uh, she's like a nice lady from West Virginia, uh, grew up there, uh, got kids there. She's worried about those kids, three kids, uh, lives there now. Uh, her uh, website is paulajean2018.com. Uh oh, what does that mean? Does that mean that uh, she might be running against Joe Manchin? You got that right, she is. Okay, Paula Jean 2018 on Twitter as well. Um, I, I'm gonna tell you who she is and I'm gonna give you some quotes of hers. Now, how many times has she run for office before? Zero. So this is when they, uh, the corporate Democrats would say, oh, please, I do declare. She's a real person, is she? <laughs> yes, she is indeed. She's a mother of three. She's worked to make sure that there's not toxins in the air or in the water for her kids, that uh, everybody in West Virginia has a job. And is safe, and that you could do both. That 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 that's possible. So let me give you some of her quotes. She said, "We are tired of being collateral damage, and we all deserve jobs." Yeah. So her point is, look, yeah, is there coal mining in West Virginia? Of course. And and she comes from a coal mining family, and her dad was a coal miner, and her grandfather. Uh, but she says, you know what? We can have jobs and still not kill. Uh, the citizens of West Virginia, that we could do it in a safe way. And that uh, there are some ways that are acceptable to get energy and mountaintop removal is not one of them. And you know what else mountaintop removal does? It actually kills coal mining jobs. So the only people in favor of mountaintop removal are the people who get paid by the people who do mountaintop removal. Yeah. Which one of those guys is named Joe Manchin, okay? It does not create more jobs in West Virginia. And all it does is pollute the environment and destroy uh, the you know, uh, the great, great outdoors of West Virginia and, and the nature of uh, uh, there as well. Another quote from Paula, Paula Jean Swearingen here is, the industrial revolution was built on the backs of coal miners, our backs. We've provided power to America and now it's time to empower ourselves. Damn. Damn. Okay, That's so now good. I wanna show you guys some videos from Paula. Uh, first one is gonna be when she took on Joe Manchin, it's town hall. She decides she's gonna step up, they start to get people's attention a little bit. She's fighting for her community and and you won't see Manchin here, he's up on stage. You, The camera's pointed at the people asking the questions. Let's listen to Paula go after Manchin here. Every spring is orange and black. So she says our, our streams and our water is running orange and black and she knows because she sees it. And it's fortunately what her kids have to bathe in every single day, etc. And Manchin seems to be saying up there, no it doesn't. Yeah, if you're incredibly rich and you're living off of donor money, Joe. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure you got filters in your house and you're doing whatever you need to do up in DC. But don't deny their existence, don't deny their reality. Because that's the reality that they live in. You don't know uh, the stuff that that gets put in the water based on the stuff that you voted for. You're wildly disingenuous. Now, uh, here in the same um, uh, event, she in a little bit later in the questioning, she's going to break down his false choices. Because what a, what does a corporate uh, Democrat like Cho Manchin want to do? Say like, oh no no no! If you don't vote with my donors, if you don't let me give everything to my donors, you're going to lose your jobs. Basically, hijacking and holding your jobs for a ransom. She does not accept that paradigm. Listen here. So she said, look, we want a clean environment, clean water for our kids and jobs. That that those things should not be mutually exclusive. Yeah. And he's like, well, no, some people want jobs, so we're gonna agree to disagree. Agree to disagree on what? 
that we no, can- No, that just diffused the situation then, <laughs> agree to disagree. Okay, uh, no, agree to disagree, no, you gotta have poison water if yeah. you want jobs. If somebody's talking about like being worried about their children's future, that's an area you don't get to agree to disagree. Yeah. I think people take that pretty seriously. Yeah, and hey, look, Joe, you wanted to agree to disagree. Well, <laughs> be careful what you wish for. Now you're gonna agree to disagree in a primary, yeah. okay? So uh, we do not accept that corporate Democrats that show for big business are going to do better in red states. There is no evidence for that. And uh, if we think that a person who's gonna actually stand up for West Virginians will do much better in West Virginia. Yeah. So Joe Manchin, you stand up for the donors and we'll see you in the primaries. So uh, now uh, I wanna give you one more video here in this uh, segment about uh, Paula's meeting with someone you might recognize during the last uh, presidential primaries. Because when the coal industry's gone, we're not gonna have anything left burning and it's gonna clean up the mess. They have not, this the streamlined protection will the only water protection we have, they just got rid of it and it never was enforced anyway, it was like a lot of to the coal industry. Jim Justice, the biggest political coal bearer in West Virginia is now my Democratic governor. He's mining three miles from my house. I've watched my children's, ch ch my neighbor's children in Kansas. I buried my daddy at 54 years old. I've watched my family suffocate together. I've buried so many family members to this industry. It feels like everything's all this amazing grace. I've cried, I've cried, I've cried, I've screamed. I need help. I don't want to overpromise you. That's so, Bernie right there. Yeah, even in a while he's talking to her, he's like, I don't want to overpromise you. He's like, but he wants to keep it real. Because yeah, he doesn't lie. Yeah, and um, and so look, at that point, she's not a politician, she's not anybody. She's just a mom in West Virginia. And so this is the first time she's ever run for anything. Uh, like I said, her grandfather died from black lung, her uh, uncles have it now. And she thinks that, uh, that maybe we can have an economy that works for everybody. By the way, now solar, uh, employs solar power employs more people in America than coal does. So it's coal and growing is, way, 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 way faster. That's right, coal is not the only option for West Virginia. They, the opponents make absurd claims like not enough sun in West Virginia. You serious? <laughs> what a preposterous argument, anything to protect their donors. So I got more videos for her in a second, but I want you to know who Joe Manchin is and why we shouldn't accept that he is the the best we can have in West Virginia. So here are some of the nominees of um, uh, in, in Donald Trump's cabinet and otherwise that uh, Joe Manchin, the so-called Democrat voted for. Scott Pruitt in the middle of destroying the EPA now. Oh. Uh, Rex Tillerson, uh, who was Exxon Mobil uh, CEO. Uh, Neil Gorsuch, of course, the Supreme Court nominee who's now on the Supreme Court. Uh, the most pro-corporate justice will uh, hopefully ever have, but certainly have had until now. Uh, James Mattis for, for defense, John Kelly, Mike Pompeo for CIA, Nikki Haley for UN, Elaine Chao, uh, Jeff Sessions, of course. Jeff Sessions. Okay, uh, David Shulkin, Steve Mnuchin, the, the, the financier uh, and swamp dweller that he is, <laughs> Ryan Zinke, Rick Perry, and Ben Carson, the murderer's row of uh, idiots. Uh, but but you, you claim you care about the energy sector and you put Rick Perry in charge of it? Oh yeah, you put Rick Perry, who could barely rub two brain cells together, as the head of the Department of Energy, and you claim you care about energy. No, no, you care about the same thing Rick Perry cares about, rich donors. Yeah. So now, who is Joe Manchin? Some other facts about him. He's an alumnus of ALEC, that's the American Legislative Exchange Council. That is the deeply, deeply right wing group who works for corporations and who Oftentimes, we'll print out memos that other legislators will take and just simply submit as bills. So you work for Alec, that means you work for multinational corporations. He doesn't work for West Virginians. You know, right, there's an article out today about, well, they're like, on the other hand, yes, Paul Swearingen is, is going to, it was released today, earlier today. She's gonna run in a primary, she's backed by Just Democrats, brand new Congress. We will replace you, all these different groups, right? Uh, she's the real progressive in the race, the real Democrat in the race. They say, but Joe Manchin has more money. Where do you think he got that money? Regular okay. people, $27 at a time, I have to imagine. Yeah, and who do you think he works for? He works for the people that gave him that money. By the way, go to PaulaJean2018.com, she's only taking small donations. She's not taking corporate money, she's not taking PAC money. She's not gonna sell you out for some corporation who gave her a ton of money 
she's not gonna work for Alec, that's not how it works, okay? PaulaGene2018.com, okay, more on Joe Manchin, he voted to defund Planned Parenthood. <laughs> and because of the video, then he later changed his mind. I got hilarious pictures on that in a second, I'll come back to that. He wants a new war on drugs, because the old war on drugs was not enough. So he's gonna add another war on drugs on top of it, because of the opioid epidemic. So your idea is more knuckleheaded, not prevention and healthcare, etc., but a new war on drugs, more war. This is a guy who claims to be a Democrat. What part of this is Democratic? And, and of course, he serves big energy and big pharma. And, and in fact, on that stuff, his record is disastrous. Pharmaceutical companies like the ones that jacked up the prices on EpiPen. And of course, all the people who tell you that no, no, if you want jobs in West Virginia, you're gonna have to take the toxins with it. Yeah. Uh, and now let me go to those pictures. <laughs> so here's Joe Manchin, uh, in a picture that he took recently, saying, I stand with Planned Parenthood. Now that's after he switched Aww. his vote. In the beginning, he sees uh, the, the job, that hack job video, and says, okay, that's it, I'm gonna cut Planned Parenthood's uh, funding. Then he uh, says, okay, okay, never mind, I switched my mind. And he says, I stand with Planned Parenthood. After that, he takes this picture, don't need Planned Parenthood, yeah. No, no, this is after he switched his vote. And that's a, a pro-life activist there, uh, or anti-choice mm. activist. And he proudly stands with a sign that says, we don't need Planned Parenthood. Best case scenario, Joe Manchin, it turns out, is illiterate, can't read signs. Yeah. That's the only defense for that. That's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario and the more likely one is Joe Manchin will say, anything to trick you into voting for him because he's never gonna represent yeah. you anywhere. Planned Parenthood, not Planned Parenthood, he doesn't care. He's like, where's my check? Yeah, and he willingly, like especially in the case of the Planned Parenthood, but also the, the idea that he's on the side of coal miners because he supports the corporations that formerly employed them. He just willingly accepts the conservative corporate framing for every issue. He's at best a simpleton who goes along with conservatives. And I have been trying since you revealed that she would be priming. I've been trying to come up with someone who deserves a primary more, and I don't think that there is one. I think that he is exactly the sort of person that we need to be primarying. And especially, he saw what happened. Trump got elected. He can see what's changing in this country, and still, even after that, he votes for Jeff Sessions. He votes for. I mean, you went down the list. He's learned nothing. He needs to be taught something. Yeah, uh, yes, and perhaps through retirement. <laughs> yeah, and worse yet, guys, when he votes for all those Republican positions, the Republicans then turn around and go, you see that? It's all bipartisan. Bipartisan. See, the reasonable Democrats like Joe Manchin agree that we should give massive tax cuts to the rich. We should do all of the Republican agenda, and the unreasonable Democrats just won't agree. Yeah. So now, uh, finally, I want to give you one more set of videos from Paula at, at a rally that she, where she told her story. Real quick, let's watch this as well. I was born in West Virginia, and I was born a coal miner's daughter, granddaughter. My stepdad was in the coal mines. My uncles were in the coal mines. And in West Virginia, you're taught to live, breathe, eat, literally coal. We are taught that coal defines us. So as a little girl, I was proud of my coal heritage. I was proud to be the coal miner's daughter. And as I got older and I watched the progression of what coal could do to my family, I wasn't so proud anymore. Because my grandfather spent 45 years in the coal mines and I watched him suffocate to death. My father served in the military and he was in Korea and he was the coal miner. And he had cancer and I watched him suffocate. My stepfather has heart disease, has had open heart surgery. And he gets over up every morning and he suffers. But that was only the beginning of what I knew that, about suffering in Appalachia. Because the mountains was the most beautiful place in the world to me, that's my home. And I woke up one day to look around me and they started blowing those mountains up. The places that I used to play when I was a little girl and I enjoyed and the cleanest water in the world now runs black and orange in West Virginia. That coal-fired plant is fueled by the blood of my people. 
and is full, fueled by your blood. There's no reason, Governor Patrick, that I should give you my children to fire that plant. Now that's strong. That's what we want. We oh. want strong voices actually standing up for you guys. Strong and obviously real. That you could have taken any 20 second chunk out of that, and it's more authentic than every word Joe Manchin has ever said in his life strung together. Le oh God, I can't wait for the debate. Real people for real change, justdemocrats.com, paulagene2018.com. They say she won't be able to raise enough money. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Our journalism drive is almost over. It ends in Trump's first 100 days. We need to hire more reporters and more watchdogs. Let's do that right now at tytnetwork.com slash go.